Hey guys, what's happening? This is Linus here with iOS Jailbreak Zone, and today I'd like to show you guys how you can get the iOS 7 parallax effect on your lock screen and your home screen using some CDA tweaks. Now, uh, the first tweak is called the iOS 7 um, slideshow lock screens, animated slideshow lock screens. It is a long name, but um, as you can see, I do have the parallax effect, so the wallpaper is moving. Don't know if you guys can notice it that well or not, but um, it is actually uh, moving and it's also a slideshow so um, within um, a couple of seconds the picture will actually change and um, the parallax effect actually works better on some wallpapers than the others so if I just slide and lock real quick as you can see I'm on my home screen right now and the home screen wallpaper is also moving um, this one probably works better than the lock screen wallpaper but as you can see um, it works Alright guys, to get these tweaks, all you have to do is just open up Cydia, and as you can see, I did get the name wrong. Um, it is actually called the iOS 7 Accelerometer Slideshow Lock Screens, and um, it is a paid tweak. However, you can get it free if you have the Insanely I repo added. All links will be down below in the description. So this is the Slideshow Lock Screen, um, and if I go to the other one, which is called Deep End, this one's also available in the Insanely I repo, and um, this is pretty much for the home screen, and it was made by Ryan Patrick who um, actually makes a lot of CDA tweaks. So guys, once you download these, um, you should be able to select one of the themes um, with Winterboard. So if you actually open up Winterboard, you should be able to see that um, you have the iOS 7 um, 3D wallpapers and everything, and you can select different ones. Um, you do have to respring as these are C um, actually Winterboard uh, wallpapers. I'll just select the night sky, or actually I'll just uh, select the close-up because the night sky doesn't really work real well. So I'm just going to respring now. And once you do respring, you should be able to see that um, you have a different one if you, if you actually chose a different one. And as you can see, it's another slideshow, and um, the picture does move, but you probably can't um, notice this on the camera that well. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, this is especially for devices that will not be able to update to iOS 7 when it does come out. Um, so I used the iPod Touch 4th generation in this video and you can also use the iPhone 3GS or any other Apple device you have. So when iOS 7 uh, does come out you should be able to install it on all the other devices except for the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 3GS. Um, so if you have any other devices you can still try out this tweak but iOS 7 is going to come on those devices. So it's specially recommended for devices that will not be able to update to iOS 7. Alright guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this tutorial from iOS Jailbreak Zone. If you did enjoy this and it did work for you, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out a ton. If you guys would like to see more great videos like this, then definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button right there to be notified every time I upload great videos like this. So guys, thanks again for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.